Hello everyone, my name is Raj. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, what we are going to do is we are going to take a look at how to use the exports feature within Reality Editor and how we can use that feature to export things out from Reality Editor to Reality Hub. So let's get started. First of all, let me show you where the Reality Exports are. If you go to Edit, go to your Project Settings and scroll all the way down under reality there is this exports okay click on this and here you can see the different things that can be exported from reality editor to reality hub we have your things like you know post process materials your actors your textures camera lenses your widget blueprints which is umg so these are the things that we can export from reality editor to reality hub so let's take a look at one of the export feature first i will close this okay so here Say for example, you have your entire virtual set ready and you have a graphics like this. And you have created this graphics using blueprint. Let me open the blueprint. Here is the blueprint. If you want to know how to make graphics such as these, you can check out one of my previous tutorials. I will leave a link in the description as well as in the I button. So check that out. So if you have already checked it out, you already know that the way we export this graphics into Reality Hub is by adding a zd actor so i will do that i will add a component and say zd actor select the zd actor and give it a name i will call this single there gfx maybe yeah i'll give this a name i will compile save and now when i hit play i will go to my reality hub if i frame everything you can see that I have this blueprint over here. Okay. You can also, of course, change the name. You can do whatever you want with this. Now, let me stop this. Now, imagine you have not one, but say 10, 20, 30, 40 of these graphics, you know, different type of graphics on your scene. You will have to add ZD Actor to all of them to export it, first of all. And second, your scene becomes very cluttered. Out of those 10, maybe for one of the shows, you want to use only five, or for some, you just want to use a few. And you don't want to have all of them in your you know, virtual set at the same time. So what will you do in cases like those? In those cases, what we are going to do is, I'm going to delete this from the viewport itself. And also what I can do is, I can go here and delete the ZD actor that I have made. Let me see if there is ZD actor on the other one. There is no ZD actor here. Okay. Now let's go to edit and project settings. And we are going to export these two graphics independently. Okay. First, let me select the first one, which is this one BP player card. And I will go to my project settings and scroll all the way down under reality exports. And I know that I am trying to export a blueprint actor class. So I will go under actors and in actor classes, I'm going to add element. Open this up. So it is asking me what, which is the actor class. The actor class is this one, BP player card. I can easily just click here and search for BP underscore. It is what player card. Okay. I will give it the same name player card. Okay, no need to save or anything, it's already saved itself. Now I am going to hit play, go back to my reality hub, and here when I right click, I can see that my player graphics comes here. I will select it, and now you can see it's it has appeared over here. And also, not just that, I can add it again for the second time and I can move that one to a different location. And I can control this independently. And of course, you can add a media input to change the photograph.
so that's how we can export blueprint actors if i stop this and now let's export the other one which is here i will uh, the i will just select this go to my project settings and this time i'm going to add one more element open this up and since i have already selected it in my content browser all i'm going to do is click on this arrow button and it fills in automatically and i will give this the name as it has which is player versus player and now again play go to reality hub right click and now you can see i have my graphics here as well so this is how you use the reality exports now let's take a look at how we can export a widget blueprint okay so i have a widget blueprint over here which is a very simple um, overlay graphics that i have created now let us export this using the project settings okay so i will select the widget graphics in my content browser go to my project settings exports and under umg i am going to add an element for the widget classes so add element open this up and since i have already selected the widget here i can just click this arrow and it's over here and let's give this a name mm, this is what this is news logo maybe news logo okay so i have exported the widget blueprint i have exported the actor blueprint actors the blueprint graphics play reality hub okay now if i right click i can see that i have my two graphics over here right if i can add my player card over here and i can right click and add my other graphics also over here but if i right click i do i don't see my widget blueprint which i just exported because it is somewhere under umg so anytime you export a widget blueprint it will always come under umg and under templates so this is the one that we exported open this and here it is but the moment we add this to the r graph we cannot see it here the reason being we have to use an overlay method to see the widget blueprint so for these what i have to do is in the engine control first thing i have to do is add a mixer okay connect the mixer to the engine control and let me just move this to play at the sides i will add a camera from uv render so camera connect it here and for the track as well i will add a user track let me just move this user track in place so that we can see it from the front view okay so here it is and now if i take this widget blueprint and just connect it to the overlay of the mixer you can see it has been overlaid on top of everything so this is the way you can export your umg graphics for example your channel bugs lower thirds aston bands and various other things so yeah i mean this is how you use the reality exports feature there are other things as well in the reality exports that you can uh, use to export for example you can export textures you can export camera lens, lens data and also post process materials let me quickly show you how to um, get this you know how to export these textures so i already have few textures here let me go to my textures and i have few textures over here i will just export like two of these okay so i will go back to my reality exports in the project settings under textures i will add two elements so the first one maybe this one which is batista and the second one will be big show okay so open this one add it and big show okay now 
could play in Reality Hub. And the first thing I will do is add one of the graphics, which is this one. Let me rotate it like this. And there is something known as texture. So I will go to my texture, texture, texture. Okay, here it is. And here I can connect this to the player card. Now I have not selected anything, so I have nothing. But if I click here, you can see I have those two textures that I have exported. And that's how you export textures. I don't know how you would use this technically because for importing textures, we always use the media input, which is here, the media input. And because from the media input, we can directly go to our assets folder and choose which textures or photograph or video we want to, you know, uh, attach to our card. But Maybe for some reason you want to export textures from Reality Editor directly so that there are limited options on what can be selected and not. So that's there. And yeah, there are other things as well, like post process materials, but we will not take a look at all of those because post process material will be an another lesson altogether. But yeah, this is how you can export things from Reality Editor to Reality Hub. And that is how we use the Reality Exports feature. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.